What's up, party animals? My name is Kazi, and I've been going to festival after festival after event after nightclub after this and that and the other thing. I have been going to a lot of music events, and I've been bringing my fursuit to all of them. So, I wanted to do, like, since, like, I just, I feel like an expert now. I've gone to two events, and I'm a freaking baller. Um, did I only go to two? I've been to the Gorge twice. I went to a drive-in rave. Oh, and I went to Foam Wonderland. So I've been to a few more events than zero, and I figured I'm gonna do a furry survive, furry raver survival guide. Um, because it's not, just being a person at a rave is actually really easy in comparison to being a dog or a bird or whatever fursona you got. It, it, it's a completely different vibe. One of the things I've noticed is it almost feels like the people at the rave support me being a furry more than some other furries do. So it's just such a magical time. And to anyone who's like, oh man, I want to go to a rave, fursuit or not, highly recommend. There is such a unique and fun culture at raves that I just don't feel like exists at furry cons. So hands down, rave slap super hard, super duper recommend going to them, and here are my tips for doing so. Fursuiting, it's hot. Raves are in the summer, so you're going to cook. The most important thing, and today's sponsor, is hydro bags. I have gotten a bag from a company called Sojourner, links in the description. Um, worst thing happened. My bag, I cheaped out, I bought like a $10 bag off of Amazon, the water bladder broke, and it ruined my phone, and I lost all my footage. So don't cheap out on a bag. That bag is going to be your lifeline. This is water. And then all of this is everything I can bring. Oh, I also got like a QR code that links to my link tree. So that was fun. Water is life. Um, and in addition to water, you can actually drink too much water. It is very possible to die because you drink too much water. And I feel like at Base Canyon, I was kind of stupid and I'm just like, oh, I'm not drinking too much. I'm fine. No, I wasn't. You need electrolytes. And to fix that, I got this stuff. It's called Propel or Gatorade or whatever. But what they are, are their little packets. And one of the things that festivals tend not to like is when you bring open containers of mysterious powders. Hmm, I wonder why. Now, these things, completely sealed, individually wrapped so that you can just take one out, put it into a water bottle, put it into a hydro bag, put it into anything. So super important to bring electrolytes. Just as important as water is food. So I brought trail mix because it's got stuff. I don't know. Trail mix is supposedly designed to be super healthy and get you through a hiking trail. And that's basically what you're doing at a rave. It is a ton of walking and a lot more moving. When you're dancing in the pit, your legs are killing you, and then you're like, well crap, I gotta walk to the campground again. You're going to want food. And festival food, festival water, anything you buy at a festival, it's going to be insanely expensive. A can of White Claw, I can go down to the Mini Mart, down the street, and get one for, how many fingers do I have? Three dollars. I go to the festival, it is sixteen dollars. That is a lot more. And so you definitely, if you're trying to save money, unless you got like a billion dollars, bring your own food, water, hydration powder, and other things. Um, one of the things that I like about the gorge, now you can't, I don't think, bring it into the venue, but camping. Camping, you can bring your own liquor and pregame all you want, so plan accordingly, because getting things inside the venue or even at the event itself, if you're camping, really, really, really expensive. So if you're trying to save money, 
do that. Bring your own. Uh, one of the things that really sucked about Chronicles was that the water tasted like <laughs> It was horribly disgusting. And I actually didn't drink a lot of water, um, which probably wasn't a good idea, but when the water tasted like garbage, I didn't yet have the hydration powder, so I spent like probably at least $25 on canned water. Um, which is like, it's like bottled water, but it's an aluminum can, so it's eco-friendly. So, it gets expensive. Just basic survival at a festival gets expensive. So bring your own. Most festivals usually allow you to bring a few things of that kind of importance, um, especially water bags. If the festival doesn't allow you to bring your own water, people will avoid spending money and just die because money is expensive and partying is also expensive. So big thing right there, be careful because especially, especially if you're fursuiting, you're gonna go through a lot of water. Caring for your fursuit. Most festivals are outdoor events and even if they're indoor events, it, they are messy events. The first day of Base Canyon, I was sitting down at the, uh, I was sitting down in the grass and someone walked next to me and it was the first day I had just gotten in the venue, just sat down and was like, wow, look at the view. Someone tripped and spilled beer on me, on my fursuit. So I had to go the entire festival with beer in my fur and that's not great and you need to be prepared for that because your fursuit is going to get dirty. Your fursuit is going to get touched by people who did not ask. And that is a huge one. People are insanely touchy at events. You are, if you're in the pit, you're gonna be shoulder to shoulder and you're going to be rubbing against the people around you. The amount of times I got bopped in the head because someone was dancing too hard was a lot. And it doesn't matter, it's not that big of a deal. And I know furries and I know some of y'all might make it a huge deal. Don't. Unless something illegal is happening, if someone's like, oh, ooh, ooh, what's this? Let me grab your junk. They deserve to get put to the ground. Do not allow that to happen. But when I was sitting, I'd be like just sitting dead. Like I'd just be like, uh, 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 I'm dying, oh my God. And people would just walk by and just be like, ooh, puppy, ooh. And it's like, you just gotta deal with it. People are there to have fun. And when you're fursuiting, you're enhancing that fun. A lot of people would thank me for fursuiting. And I'm just like, ha ha. Why are you thanking me? I'm just the dog. Honestly, for, for, for the fursuiter, for me, like this is cool, but I can't really see myself. I, you know, I can hardly see the stage, but to everyone else around me, they're like, holy crap, that's wild. And it's great. So don't be a jerk, please. That would suck for the fandom's image. And also, don't be horny. Don't go groping people. Just don't, don't, don't do that. Be nice, be cool, be plur, and have fun. Caring for your fursuit is gonna be rough. It gets dirty. Uh, bring a brush. I had a comb with me uh, to brush things out the second day. The first day when I got beer spilled on me, I'm like, well, crap. I should have brought a comb. So do that, bring something you can brush your fursuit out with because it'll definitely be important. You'll, you're gonna get mats, you're gonna get things happening, and at the end of each day, brush it out. Brush out your fursuit at the end of each day. That's basic fursuit care, but if you miss it once, you're gonna look like a damn mersuiter. There's a lot of risk to bringing a fursuit to a festival. It is a grimy, touchy, messy place and you're gonna get something on your fursuit. One of the reasons why I picked the natural and dark tones I did for my fursuit is because if I get dirty, it's not too obvious. So it's not going to be like, oh, that's gross. But if you're like a white fursuiter, maybe don't, cause you're gonna get dirty. However, don't let all that dissuade you. 
That is the way to stay alive, the way to have fun. So make sure you're drinking lots of water, make sure you're drinking electrolytes, make sure you're eating good food, and make sure you're having fun. People don't want a fursuiter just standing there staring. You need to be active, move around. That's one of the basic things about fursuiting in general is the more you move around, the more people are like, oh, it's alive. And I had so many people interacting me. If you look like you're having fun, other people will join you to do that. And that's the best thing I can give is just have fun on your own. Don't be sad that no one is like with you. Be excited that you're there to experience everything with everyone. If no one is your friend, everyone is your friend. So enjoy that, have fun, stay hydrated, eat well, don't spend a ton of money unless you want to, that's I guess fine. Um, don't drink too much. Uh, it's easier to get alcohol than it is water sometimes. So bear that in mind. Festivals are trying to kill you. This video, again, sponsored by Sojourner. Um, I'm gonna be doing a couple more videos featuring their water bag. I got to try it out at Chronicles, but it wasn't the best trial. So I'll talk about it more when I go to Beyond Wonderland, um, where it'll really get a huge test of what it can do and what it's capable of. Um, but for now, I really like the bag. It hasn't had any problems, plenty of pocket space, and I like the side pockets too. Um, oh, another thing that I forgot. These things, these will save your life and they don't require batteries. You can put it in your muzzle, you can put it in your eye, you can put it on your bodysuit. Everywhere that this thing can go, you can do it. Having a, one of these like, I guess they're Chinese fans, but they're kind of like rave fans now. Getting one of those is huge. You're gonna wanna move some air over you. And since they don't require batteries, you can use them at any time without worrying about anything. So highly recommend one of the rave fans. Uh, Sojourner also sells those, so go check them out. Links in the description. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.